Hey guys, it's Ozzy and welcome to another video. So if you're wondering why I'm filming here, it's just because I can't get any good light down there. So yeah. Well, this actually happened on Friday. Um, it was uh, last week, Friday last week. So what happened is, is my dog Lexi, as you know, she's like a guard dog. And in early hours, I think about 3 or 2 a.m., she started barking at the door, like... And eventually my dad woke up and he went outside of his bedroom, looked at Lexi looking at the door and said, What are you doing? Because it was early hours and he didn't want Lexi barking because of the neighbours might complain. So Lexi didn't move from the door, she was just kept looking at the door. So my dad obviously knew that she detected someone like near the door or at least that came up to the door or something like that. So what he does is he looks out the door and he sees this man like standing up near the door. The door's here and the man's just standing to the side of the door. And Lexi just kept barking at him and what my dad just did is he panicked because he couldn't find his phone. So he used the home phone and he called 911 for the police. But he didn't know if the man was still there and the lady kept saying stupid things like What's he wearing? Is he still there? And my dad just couldn't see him because he was in the dark so he didn't know if he was still there and he couldn't tell what he was wearing but the lady on the phone was like No, we can't send anyone out there because we don't know if he's still there or not. So when my dad was still on the phone to them he saw the man in the light and he was like, oh, I see him now, I see him. And so the lady sent someone out. My dad went out with Lexi because Lexi is a guard dog and he felt safe with her. And he was going to scare him off with Lexi sort of thing. And then when he confronted the man, whoever it was, with Lexi, he said, right, what are you doing, mate? And the guy was like, it's Keith. And my dad was like, well, I don't know you, get off my property. Or something along that lines. I couldn't really hear him because he was... He was like near the driveway and I was upstairs and I couldn't hear him. But he said something along the lines of that. So he put Lexi back to go inside. The man was just walking up the road. My dad saw the police coming down the road just as he got the man to leave. And he pointed the man out to the police and he said, There he is, that's the guy. And we don't know what the police did, but I think they might have just asked him some questions. That was the story of Keith. I hope you enjoyed it. Luckily, Keith won't be joining us anytime soon. We think not. We hope not, actually. But thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs>